Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreamy, and in this very quick video today, I'm going to show you how you can turn some of these rings of wood beads from Dollar Tree into something just about any shape you want, like this, a carrot, okay? So this is quick and easy, super affordable, like the whole project's probably under $2. And let's just jump right in. Like I said, it's gonna involve one of these little wood uh, ring things from Dollar Tree. And notice that they have square beads and they have round beads. They also have some that are dark um, stained and even some that are black. But I'm choosing to work with these natural ones, okay? So what I wanna show you first of all, and we're gonna be using canvas duck, big surprise, huh? Okay, so what I want to show you first of all is how you go about I'm trying to decide how you go about giving them some color. Well, first thing you're going to do is you're going to um, decide on your shape, and there's there's metal inside of this ring, and I'm just shaping it. Sort of, the best I can to the shape of a carrot. And there we go. So it started out like this. Uh, you can shape this to the shape of a heart, next year to pumpkins, um, to Christmas stockings. I mean, but there's tons of different shapes that you could use. Okay, and then I'm just going to paint it real rough and messy using some of this uh, Waverly um, Matte Finish No Prep Acrylic Paint from Plaid from Walmart. This color is called Pumpkin. And so I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. One that would be totally my style and the other that is a little more reminiscent of a carrot. Okay, I'm just very, 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 very roughly going to dab on. I'm not covering the whole entire bead because that's the look I want. Some of this orange paint, which I watered it down a little bit because I don't know if you've worked with this Waverly paint before or not, it is um, super thick. And I'm just using a crummy brush. You want the two sides to look like they have about the same amount of paint on them, but other than that, I really don't care. Okay, so that is the start. Now I will let this dry before I move on to the next step with it. So let me set it over here, and we're going to move on to the next step, natural. Okay, here's another one of these. Rings from Dollar Tree, a dollar twenty-five. How do you wait in? Oh, how do I? I craft in such cute clothes without ruining them. Oh, you're so sweet. This jacket is pretty darn cute, isn't it? I got it at Target like I don't know four years ago, and I just completely forgot I even had it. So when I was getting dressed this morning, I was like, "Ooh, it is rainy and gross in Atlanta, Georgia today." Um, so. I decided to put on something warm. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing and start bending this one, which it's not very hard, into the shape of a carrot. This looks like more of a long skinny carrot, but it could be a carrot. Okay, and then I'm gonna use some of this canvas duck. 
And in case you don't know what canvas duck is, it is a real thick kind of canvas. My favorite color is this oatmeal-ish color. Um, you can get it at any fabric store. Uh, it does come in different weights. Um, I think it's six, eight, and 10 ounces are the different weights. And you want the thickest you can get. And um, that's 10. This I think is eight. I had some 10, but I think I have used it all. Okay, so I'm just getting out my low temperature hot gluing device, which is a Surebonder tool shot. And it's a mess. Um, you can get these at any craft store. They're under $10. It has a cord and it's a mini, but it's a super low temperature hot gluing device. And I am just going to start putting some glue on the top. Of my beads. Let me scoot you back just a smidge so that you can see everything. There we go, that's better. Okay, so see, I've just glued, I've just started gluing the top on. And I did iron this piece of canvas duck before I started this because it was super crumpled and it was not going to look good. So you're going to just continue gluing and pushing it down and I'm going to go kind of from side to side. I don't know if any other crafters have done this idea or not or if it was uh, my original idea but when I first picked up some of these, these things, I was like, I wonder how soft the metal is inside and could I bend that into something interesting? And sure enough, you absolutely can. So the other one that I showed you how to paint, orange, that had the round beads, I would be doing the exact same thing as what we're doing right now. Just putting glue on it and pushing it into the canvas. And then we're going to talk about the top. Also, there's a million ways that you can embellish this. I did not do any further embellishment on this one, but I mean, I'm thinking you could paint this canvas if you wanted. You could stencil some words on it or a design. Um, this ribbon right here looks like this. It came from Dollar Tree also, and I know for sure, just don't know where it is, that I have some of this in this natural creamy color, and that is what I was thinking about using on this one. Okay, I think I have it mostly glued on. And now um, I am just going to trim it, which is easy. I'm just cutting right up to the edge. If it's messy looking, I can come back later and clean that up a little bit. I just want to cut as close to the edge of your beads as you can. There's so many things we could make. You guys, I'm just sitting here thinking about it. 
We could make angel wings. Um, it might take more than one, but we could... Next time I see these at a Dollar Tree, I'm going to buy a couple more. We could probably use two to make a beautiful cross. Um, but today, <laughs> we're doing carrots. Okay, I'm almost finished here. Okay, so it doesn't exactly resemble a carrot just yet. I think it will once I add some embellishment. Here's that ribbon, yay, okay. This is my um, bucket of burlap. And you know, when we make these kind of uh, rolled, uh, loopy, pulled string burlap flowers, I always hang on to the strings. Do you guys do that too? And then I'll just tie it in a, a real loose kind of knot. And those are made with this which is a five and a half, six inch wide burlap ribbon that you can get at Walmart. Did I say any of my normal stuff? Say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. Feel free to sprinkle all that good stuff. Um, so I could, feel free to ask questions too. Um, the, the beaded thing came from Dollar Tree. It was $1.25. It's a ring, but I've bent it. Um, the paint that I used for the orange ones is Waverly. It's pumpkin color. It's from Walmart. Um, the, if you're going to do this method, this is from Walmart. And I was kind of thinking that we could do something right here. And I would probably, I'll trim it up, but I would probably do it like in shorter with more strands. So I want your opinion. Or this is something new. It's just like this green that I put on this one uh, at Dollar Tree. Have you guys seen this before? What is it called? Mesh Ribbon Floral Garden. And so I got it in green and natural and white. And Let's go ahead and use this. Oops. Okay, well, it's on the floor. So I'm going to just get some pieces. And I'll measure this when I'm done. I'm going to turn these into strips. Let's do one more. All right, and let's use, what the heck, let's use some of this jute that was tying the, the little label on, and I'm going to just tie one end of it in a knot. We might use some of this on the front, too. I'll show you how I cut it cut it up on the other one to make it look kind of fringy. Okay, so this would get glued back here, but it doesn't look like a carrot top yet, does it? So I'm going to cut my loops all the way through. And then I'm going to cut each one of these in half. And I'm not even being careful to do it um, so that they're exactly in half. Let's put this down. What do you guys think about this project? has some really good crafting basic stuff this year and I think these uh, 
beaded rounds, that's how they start out, are one of the great things that you can get. Okay, so here's my pieces. And then I would clip some of them in a point, just so that there's some variety and it's not all straight. and then I'll fiddle around with this. But let's put a bow around it using the jute that was on the label. I'm just going to do a quick little bow. And I'm going to glue this down low enough that you can still see the bow in the front. I might come back and glue a piece of canvas over the top of it also. I think I will. So that'll help it stay in place a little better. Rectangle, a sort of a rectangle. I glue stick. I like, I'm liking how this is turning out. I really am. Okay, would you know, just in the abstract, if you saw this, that it was supposed to be a carrot? This would go in my decor and I could put it on, um, a wood panel or something. Here's the one that I did before I went live. I think I'm going to shorten the little green top a little bit. And here's the one that we just painted, which I will finish up when it's dry off camera. So what do you guys think of this quick, 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 and super easy, super affordable craft. Do you like this idea? Brenda says she loves my shirt. Thank you. It was from Target like, I don't know, four years ago. And I just rediscovered it in my closet this morning. Don't you love it when you, when you do that? When you have something that you loved once upon a time and you kind of forgot it existed, and then you're looking in your closet and you find it again, so that's what I wanted to show you real quick. Most likely I will be live again today with a couple more quick crafts and um, ideas and that kind of thing. So do a this or a this. Put this out of the way. Or say something to me in the comments. I guess you can kind of see them. Um, feel free to ask questions. Feel free to sprinkle all that good stuff. Donna Blake says she likes the off-white, and then the person right above her, I didn't grab your name, said that you like the orange. But you know what? Tell me uh, what you guys think. Let's, let's get a poll, an unofficial poll. Or Team Orange? or team cream. Yeah, uh, Mardina says you could stencil something on the carrots. Absolutely. And you know, with this super neutral one, 
I would probably go with my usual uh, thing that I stencil almost everything. I would do my Victorian pattern stencil that I love, possibly in uh, either a metallic color or a tan or a white. This is what that looks like. Hey, and did you guys see this video yesterday where we made pillows out of cloth napkins from uh, Hobby Lobby? This was one. And here's the other one. I think these turned out really great. I'm super happy with them. Here's the other one. It has a rabbit on it. And then it has this beautiful butterfly pattern on the back. And these were just cloth napkins that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. They were in the Easter section and the spring and Easter was 40% off. So the whole package cost a four sets, four napkins making two pillows cost around $5. Okay, I see lots of people telling me what, which one they like. Let me see, somebody's asking what is the size. I don't know if it's gonna say, but I'll look. Um, oh, okay, the whole entire thing is three yards or nine feet. Now, I don't know how you measure it when it's around, but you can also buy these little rounds and unhook the metal and take the beads off and use the beads separately for crafts if you want. I just thought it was kind of cool that you can bend the metal with the beads on them into a shape and make something like a carrot. Okay, well, I'm going to go sit down in my comfy chair and look at what you guys have to say about whether you like the orange or the cream. Um, feel free to sprinkle all that good stuff. And I, Marcella says she likes the orange. Yeah, so if you guys decide to do this craft, of course, I want to see your creations. Um, you can put the, your pictures here in the comments on DIY Dreaming on this video if you would like. Or you can also put them over at Dreamy DIY, which is a free Facebook group I set up over three, three and a half years ago for all of us to be able to share our craft project pictures and ideas. And if you haven't joined, just type in Dreamy, D-R-E-A-M-Y, and then there's a space, DIY in the search bar on, at Facebook. And when it takes you to the group, there's a couple questions that you need to answer, and then you can, we'll approve you. You can come in and start looking at, I mean, there's over 30,000 people that are part of that group, and there are a ton of fabulous craft project ideas there. So just click on the photo button and get something that you would like to drink, a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, a Diet Coke, a glass of wine, and sit down and you can um, scroll through idea after idea after idea for, you know, an hour. <laughs> All right, thank you so much to the person who did stars. I appreciate that. And I hope to see you guys again today. Um, and if not today, tomorrow, back here on DIY Dreaming.